Titus chapter 3 from verse 4 to 6. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us. Not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior. Welcome to Life Series. My name is Wangeshi Mwaniki. Now Galatians chapter 5, I'm going to be reading from verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. I'm going to stop there. And today I want us to look at kindness. And so right as we start looking at kindness, I'm going to read Titus chapter 3 from verse 4 to 6. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior. That's Titus chapter 3 from verse 4 to 6. Now, when you think about kindness, the first thing that you think about is niceness um, kindness is is when you're good to someone or when you're nice to someone um, and normally with with humans you're kind to someone or you're nice with someone because they're nice with you or they're kind to you but that shouldn't be the case we see from scripture from Titus chapter 3 that God is kind to us or rather we see we see the demonstration of God's kindness to us not because of our good works, not because of our awesomeness, because of his mercy. One of the huge ways that we get to experience God's kindness is through Jesus Christ, because God has given us Christ to save us from our sins by his kindness. He's given us the perfect savior, the good savior who did no wrong, who did no sin, who committed no sin, to die in our place so that we may be reunited with God. That's how we get to see God's kindness in full. And so the challenge to us, even as we walk in the fruit of the Holy Spirit, is to be kind like God is kind to us. Not looking at people as though just judging people from what they've done to us, from where they've helped us, but being kind to people in spite of their attitudes, in spite of how they treat us, in spite of their works towards us, but being kind to people because inside of us, Jesus lives. And if Jesus lives inside of us, then truly we can be kind. Kindness looks like helping a neighbor who is in need, helping a friend, helping a stranger, helping an enemy because the kindness of God goes beyond our works and our attitudes, then our kindness should go beyond people's works, attitudes, and how they treat us. And so my challenge to you as we focus on the kindness of God is that we may learn from Jesus Christ as we look to him because he is the father of all kindness, as we look to God the Father, that we may learn how to be kind with one another, learn how to be kind to people who don't even deserve our kindness because that truly is the test of a true Christian, to be kind even to your enemy, to be kind to people who you think don't deserve it. I have been your host on this life series. Have a good time. Baraka.